Gomez leg injury. What happened, how it happened, and what's next? Stay tuned to find out. Hey everybody, Dr. Chris, orthopedic surgeon and sports medicine physician. Welcome to my channel, your favorite source for information on broken bones and other injuries. So today we're talking about the leg injury of Andre Gomez, a Premier League midfielder who plays for Everton. And this injury occurred on November 3rd of 2019 in the Premier League match between Everton and Tottenham. While running with the ball in the second half of the game, Andre was challenged by a Tottenham player, Sun Hung Min, and then tackled. Andre subsequently collided with another Tottenham player, Serge Aurier, at which point he injured his right ankle. Gomez was taken by ambulance to the Aintree Hospital where he was diagnosed with a fractured dislocation of his right ankle. There's not too much video here to analyze, so it's kind of difficult for us to say exactly how this happened. But one thing that we can see from the video is that there is obvious instability of the ankle or looseness of the ankle after the injury. However, when we look at the pictures that we're taking during the time of and after the injury, we get a much better idea of exactly what happened. Basically, it appears as though he landed awkwardly when tackled by Sun and then immediately had his foot and ankle stepped on by Aurier as his foot touched the turf. And from the picture that was taken at exactly the moment that he injured himself, we can see that the injury mechanism was likely a combination of pronation and external rotation of the ankle. The injuries that are usually associated with this injury mechanism include either an injury to the deltoid ligament on the medial aspect of the ankle or a fracture of the medial malleolus. This is then followed by injuries to the ligamentous structures on the anterolateral aspect of the ankle, including possibly the syndesmosis, which is the ligament connection between the tibia and the fibula, and then followed by a fibular fracture. In some cases, there is also a posterior malleolus fracture as well. So this is basically what we call a tri, trimalleolar, one, two, three, three-part fracture of the ankle. In addition, the external pressure of Aurier's foot, if a little bit higher up the ankle, would cause a bending moment at the distal tibia, or the end of the big bone. And this would result in a simple transverse fracture of the distal tibia, or a transverse fracture with a small butterfly fragment. It is not possible from the pictures or from the video for us to see the exact pattern of laxity that is occurring at Andre's ankle after this injury. So we're not able to say exactly what fracture pattern he has suffered. But at the very least, I would venture to guess that he had suffered a bimalleolar, if not a trimalleolar, fracture dislocation of his right ankle. Immediately following his injury, his ankle will need to be splinted in the reduced position to maintain stability at the joint. He'll also have his leg elevated and ice applied to help minimize the swelling that occurs in his lower extremity. The main goals here are to keep the swelling of the skin down, to minimize damage of the cartilage, and to minimize further destruction of the bone fragments. Andre is going to undergo an open reduction and internal fixation of his ankle fracture. And all that just means is that we are going to open up both sides of his ankle and we are going to secure the fractures with screws and plate fixation. In some cases, if the fracture is particularly bad or displaced, he may have additional fixation applied from the back of the ankle as well. Finally, in the future, we can expect Andre to undergo approximately eight to 12 weeks of healing before he begins physiotherapy. Once begun, he will require approximately six to 12 weeks of rehab, and we can expect that he might return to play in approximately six months time. So there you have it. Today we've been talking about Andre Gomez's leg injury. I hope that you enjoyed the video and that it proved educational for you. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, that's been a word from Dr. Chris, not your everyday ortho. Just a flesh wound.